My first day in the kitchen, I remember I cried like a baby. You know, the life of a kitchen is always funny stories. Every day is different. Uh, when I was apprentice, we used to have to get up and um, clean all of the canopies, and we used to use uh, methylated spirits. Sous chef left me one afternoon, put a lot of legs of lamb in the oven, went home and said in about an hour and a half, can you take them out? And one day I had forgotten to turn off one of the flames, one of the jets. Four hours later, I realised they were still in the oven and I'd forgotten all about them, all 60 legs of lamb. I had spilt the bucket of methylated spirits which went all over my leg. I jumped off the stove and everyone was chasing me around the kitchen and I was you know, on fire, which we thought was quite funny, but uh, it was actually quite dangerous at the time. But I went into the fridge and I saw a jar and it had this like, cloudy liquid in it and it had this thing floating in it and I was like, what is that? And I was told to tidy the fridge here. Yeah, Apprentice chef going tidy the fridge, and I was like, "That's disgusting!" I threw it away. Me and another of the commie chefs were instructed to clean the big fryer upstairs, and you know, we we cleaned it out, and then we filled it up with oil and went downstairs. About five minutes later, we could hear Damo, Dave. Anyone seen the truffle? Where's the white truffle? Anyone seen the truffle? Long like that, and I didn't know what a white truffle was. You know what I mean? We went upstairs, and the we hadn't turned the valve properly, and this massive fryer, which probably held about 20 liters of oil had leaked all over the kitchen floor. That thing in the jar in the fridge, did you throw it away? I was like, yeah, yeah, I thought it was just in a murky, horrible liquor. What was it? I don't know. That's probably like, you know, worth about 400 pounds or something. I remember <laughs> being asked to grate some cheddar cheese and I kept grating it. And as I was grating it, it was just becoming really oily. I was working in France and I'd fallen ill with a virus and um, I refused to look like the, you know, the sissy American who couldn't keep up. A young guy I worked with turned around with a knife in his hand and walked straight into somebody else who turned around at the same time. I couldn't figure out what was wrong and I just carried on grating it and grating it. It put me in intensive care. I had a, I had a myocardial infection that put me down for four days. And grating it and grating it. A young Essex boy fell to the floor screaming. So I almost killed myself. That's my biggest mistake. And grating it and grating it. We took him straight to hospital and a few stitches later he came back. So. He milked it a little bit. And it turned out it was great in butter. Back in the days, it was different. You know, it was a bit more demanding. The older chefs were a bit more harsh. You know, it was all about uh, just belittling people. Having chefs all the time just telling me like, ah, oh, your parents don't like you. If they liked you, they wouldn't put you as a chef and all that. To see an Indian guy in a French restaurant going back 15 years ago is unheard of. There were a lot of racist remarks. What are you going to do, Paki? I used to have like a sort of a tear in my eye. It's like, what's happening? I could have felt sorry for myself and just keep on crying. Or I could have said to them, screw you guys. I will show you I'm better than you. So it made me a stronger person in my head and a better chef. Mm -hmm.